Hello everybody, Four Star here, and we are back with another episode of the Jets franchise here. Now in episode 9, this time we are taking on the Steelers here, and it looks like between us and the Steelers in the AFC, because we beat the Raiders, because we beat the Dolphins, we still, I think we need to beat the Dolphins one more time, but because we beat the Steelers, I mean, we, well, we're trying to beat the Steelers, because we beat the Raiders, the Dolphins, and uh, all these other teams, that don't have a better record than us. I think if we beat the Steelers here, we might get home field. We might clinch home field off this, uh, but we have to still win out some games so they won't beat us by record. But if we beat the Steelers here, they're gonna be 11 and three. We're gonna be 12 and two. And we're gonna have two more games to go. So we're probably gonna clinch uh, home field if we win another game here. And we're going to clinch the division if we win here because it would be impossible for the Dolphins to win by um, the ben White, to win by a win loss. So we are sitting pretty here. So we just need to get uh, our job done here with the next probably two games here, especially here with the Steelers. So we can get basically home field. This would be good for us in the AFC. Uh, the AFC isn't looking too competitive. We're going to take a look at the NFC, and the NFC is looking a lot more competitive here. A lot more non-win teams here. Of course, you got the Giants. Uh, you got the Seahawks. You got the Redskins who beat us. Um, Vikings, Rams, and uh, the Rams have Kurt Warner here looking for an MVP here. But they're now the outside looking in right now. So it's going to be between the Vikings, Rams, and the Buccaneers, and the Panthers are... The Panthers and Eagles are like outliers, so they would have to win out. But the Packers and the Falcons, man, those are two really, really tough teams. And Brett Favre is a monster in sim when it comes to Madden 2004. He is an absolute beast. And, of course, Mike Vick, he's on the cover, man. You already know how that goes. So taking a look at horse trailer here, we got Isaac Bruce here, five catches, 128 yards, two touchdowns. Of course, Drew Brennan from last week, from last episode, uh, well, two episodes ago. And for our week 14 players of the week, we got Ray Mickens in there, man. After two pick sixes, they couldn't deny him anymore. anymore. We couldn't deny us anymore. We finally got a player on the player of the week award at least for week 14 and then week 13 you are you guys already know drew bennett they cooked us the titans they cooked us then will witherspoon doing a uh fumble recovery for a touchdown we're going to take another look here at the steelers records here they've been beating teams here it's been close but they've been having a lot of moderate wins here 24 12 they got their first ever loss in week six so they went five and zero to start off and then they won another six games in a row and they just lost to the raiders 12 to 3 so hopefully they're not good with uh teams with a winning record so let's get right into it steelers versus jets all right so we are here at the game of the week here at home taking on the 11 and 2 steelers against our 11 and 2 jets man this is a match of epic proportions especially here in the afc here the first person we got to watch out for though is tommy maddox he is third i believe he is third in the afc when it comes to pro bowl he's the third string wide receiver and then heinz ward of course one of the best receivers that they have next to Plax, and that is a deadly combination. So we definitely have to watch out for those two. We're gonna be playing on defense, but we start here on the offense. Pennington on a third down, throws it right to Moss. Moss gets the big first down and barely crosses midfield with that play. And then on our next play here on our first down, we're gonna feed it here to Curtis Martin as he breaks one tackle, breaks another, and then gets a big first down here to put us in better field position to score. Of course, we wanna score here we want to get a touchdown in our very first drive because we've been in a lot of these games. Our first drive has been a field goal or a punt, and then it's no different here. We have to punt the ball away after that sack. So Maddox here trying to throw it to Plax, and he does not get it there. It was number 80. Yes, it was Plax Burris there. And then on th for third down, they tried to give it to Amos Zeraway, and he can't hold on to the ball. Got Butterfingers there. Pennington on this drive, going to give it to Anthony Beck. Just barely gets the first down there. It's going to be second down and 10 here. Pennington dropping back, throws a floater right to Moss, and it was a dot right in the corner, right where only he can catch it between two defenders there. 
Gonna have an incomplete pass there. Gonna be a third and nine for us. Pennington dropping back, finds Moss once again, and he looks like he's in the end zone, but the official says he doesn't cross the goal line. So we're gonna give it to Curtis Martin for yet another rushing touchdown. That'll be his 15th rushing touchdown of the year, along with over a thousand yards rushing this year. And then the kick returner fumbles the ball there. They would not challenge it, and we would get the ball here to start off our drive here, I believe our third drive of the day. Third down here, we're gonna give it to, I believe that was Curtis Conway and he cannot hold on to it, tried to throw it into a window. But Brian kicks us three points and we will start off here 10 nothing here in this first quarter. So a really good start uh, against the 11 and two Steelers here as Heinz Ward finally gets a big grab for a first down here to cross into our territory. Gonna give it to Doring here on a third, on a second down. Gonna be a third down situation here for Maddox. Maddox rolls off to the left, has time in the pocket, tries to find Plaxico Burris, but he drops it in front of three defenders here. Just threw it under, but it will be a fourth down. And then another floater. That is Chad Pennington. That is why he is in the MVP conversation because he can make plays like this, but he just needs to have time in the pocket and not his wide receivers drop the ball like Moss did. Here on the third down here, we're going to give it to Anthony Beck down the middle, and Beck does not let us down. He does not drop the ball, and he gets the first down there. Get a nice little five-yard run there by Curtis Martin. Pennington dropping back once again. Can't find anyone. Going to roll off to the right. Tried to squeeze it to Sewell, but it almost gets picked off there. Uh, and thank goodness it did not. So we're gonna have a third down here. Gets it to Anthony Beck, and he's gonna get the first. Once again, our third down wide receiver today is Anthony Beck, and he's our tight end. So we're gonna throw it here to Wayne Corbett, and Wayne Corbett, he drops the football, man, right into the end zone here. So it's gonna be a third and six. Pennington gonna try to throw it here, but he gets pressured, and he would get hit on the throw. So it would be incomplete, and we would go for three. We did get the field goal there and it will be 13 nothing. So Maddox here on the third down, throws this one right to Heinz Ward in double coverage there, and I am screaming at Dion for not making that play, and then another big play there, finally Plastico Burris getting the first down here. He's gonna put him in a situation here for Jerome Bettis, but Jerome Bettis can't get in on his first try, second and goal. They're gonna give it to Bettis again, almost gets it in, but Beasley making the touchdown save and tackle at the one inch line, and then Bettis on a third down, Tries to die, but he is just short, and we will somehow get away with with stopping Jerome Bettis on three tries in the goal line. I mean, that is damn near impossible, especially on all Madden, which is an incredible feat. I mean, talking about the bus and and how he was a goal line merchant literally his whole career. We try to throw the Moss there on a deep throw, and he had it, but he just can't hold on to it. He, it gets broken up, and then we would have to punt the ball away here on. Another second down, Bettis does not get the yardage he wants. And then on third down, Bruner is wide open for the big first down here. Now they're gonna go with the no huddle. Second and 10 here, a play later, Jerome Bettis is gonna break a tackle and get a long five yard gain, at least long in his career, in his respects. And then we get the sack fumble there. I believe that was number 95. Uh, that's our rookie linebacker. And he got a nice little strip sack there. So that was great on him and they have to settle for three once again so we're doing great we're doing a great job here when it comes to the defense we did get sacked there on a second down so we're just going to run it here on third down try to run down the clock here and let pittsburgh waste their timeouts so we're going to punt this ball away to them it's going to be a second and ten just overthrown there by maddox there it's going to be a third down here four wide receiver set maddox dropping back Feeling some pressure, throws it, and he gets it to Heinz Ward. They're going to go with the no huddle there as they pass through the 50. Maddox going to find Antoine Randall L., the former high school quarterback. He would get the first down, and they would spike the ball and then kick this field goal here to make it a 13-9 game. So we have successfully stopped them three times in the red zone, at least for six. And then, of course, Sean Ellis is going to make his presence known here as he pressures Maddox. Maddox, once again, pressure, gives it to Burris on a nice little flat route. And it's going to be a third and six situation here. Gives it to Doring, but it's just going to be short by Dion. But then, once again, I am screaming at Dion Sanders for giving up a 15-yard face mask penalty. But 
That is, I believe that was Robertson. Nice job there by Robinson with the big sack. Our rookie defensive tackle that I've been falling in love with, at least here at the later end of the season as they try to give it to Heinz Ward. He is just short, and they will punt the ball away here. So second down here, we give it to Sewell off of the flat route. Doesn't get too much. It's gonna be a third and five here. I'm looking for Curtis Martin, and he gets it. He's gonna get the first down here and gets this out of the danger zone after a great punt by the Steelers special teams unit. And Anthony Beck once again, but he gets popped there by, I believe that was Troy Palomalu, and he does not have a name. I gotta give him uh, his name and his number. Uh, because he has 41 i believe he was 43 if i know my sports correctly but we get a first down here by lamont jordan not too much running plays here today because their defensive front was just really just railing us the whole time but we don't but we do get these third and short situations as we give it the sewell there a fullback run pennington getting pressured but we find conway there for a good game there, it'll be nine yards. Second down and one here. It's a gritty game here today. And we see we're only in these second and third and short situations are we running the ball because Curtis Martin just can't get it done. But speaking of Curtis Martin, he gets the big grab to take us inside the 20 yard line here. Second and goal here. Gonna fake it to Martin. Pennington finds a wide open Sewell and we'll get our first passing touchdown of the game here. Making it 20 to nine against the 11 and two Steelers here. We've had one hell of a season. Uh, at least nobody would have thought that they would be uh, running the AFC. And neither did the New York Jets here as we break up another near interception to make it a three and out. And then Chad Pennington throws an interception to Alexander. We were trying to avoid interceptions all game here because they really had the deep ball covered. But once again, Robertson getting inside and just phasing through the center and getting that sack there. And I'm like I said before, I'm really loving Robertson here. Uh, we turn into the fourth quarter here and then Jerome Bett is getting a nice little pitch and catch there. First and goal for the Steelers. And the Steelers, once again, Beasley just getting in there and breaking up passes. He's been near interceptions all day today. Randall uh, getting the catch. And then another face mask penalty, this time by Ray Mickens. So it will be a first and goal situation. And, of course, Abraham is not stopping Jerome Bettis. Like, we, we, like who would have thought that, right? But they have to go for two here to make it a three-point game. And Bettis does a premature dive at the line of scrimmage, and it would be no good. So now they are down by five. But all we need to do here is run some clock. We try to do an efficient job at that. Martin with a run here, second and nine. And like I said, they have just been stopping us on the run. We've been, done, we've been doing so many running attempts, rushing attempts, but it was to no avail here as we give it to uh, Santana Moss, who is developing into our new wide receiver one here. And Wayne Corbett getting a big first down here so we can run some more clock. Second and 11 here, though. We're going to give it to Curtis Martin. They're going to start wasting timeouts here. Third and six here. We're going to try to get a first down run, but we get swamped there, and we would have to settle for three. But this one would make it an eight-point game. The kick is up, and the kick is good. Brian, once again, a three field goal game here. 20 seconds left here in the game on a third down after two incompletions, but Plaxico gets the catch and gives them a little bit more life here. Maddox rolling off to the right on a second down, but it gets tipped away, and Ray Mickens almost gets the tip drill INT, but it is short. They're going to give it to Doring here, but that would be it. There's no timeouts left, and that would be the game. The New York Jets conquer the Pittsburgh Steelers here, 15-23. to A gritty and grindy game, an ugly game at that, but we end up getting a big win here, and now we advance to 12-2 on the season, and because of this win, we clinch our division. Chad Pennington, 239 yards, one TD, one INT, 20 of 38 right now. Uh, not looking good for MVP when he hasn't been putting up the numbers week by week, but right now we're just worried about winning games, and that's what we're doing. It was a grindy game today. Curtis Martin, uh, one of the first times under four yards per carry. Uh, 21 attempts, 50 yards, and a TD. Can't really complain too much. They were playing some really tough defense. And uh, once again, we just got the win. We got the dub. Here today, Santana Moss once again, man. He is becoming our workhorse player. We got to get him some touchdowns, though. We really got to get him some touchdowns. 
but he gets four receptions, 76 yards. Anthony Beck, four receptions, 44 yards. Curtis Martin, four receptions, 43 yards. The rest of these guys, two receptions. And of course, Gerald Sewell with four receptions and a TD. This defensive front is doing it once again. Dwayne Robinson, now I was worried when I saw his contract, his rookie contract. I was like, damn, well, he better be working. And he's been working though. And that interior, I believe he's like at six sacks this season. Uh, that is amazing for his rookie uh, rookie campaign. And I can see why the Jets went all in on him. He's doing well right now. And also Sean Ellis adding on to that resume. I think he's on 13 sacks right now. He's looking good right now. And then Matt Waltz is the rookie. I think this is his first sack of his career. So congratulations to him. So thank you guys for tuning in to this ugly win against the Steelers. Now, it wasn't it wasn't nowhere near pretty. We didn't get too many touchdowns. We got two touchdowns today, and we ended up winning 23-15. Uh, just another grindy win, 12-2 right now. We still got the Patriots and then the Miami Dolphins. So we're going to do all that in one episode, and then we're going to see how we fare in the playoffs. So hopefully you guys are enjoying the series as much as I am. Uh, like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one.